Let's begin by defining our terms functions and relations. First, relation is a set of ordered pairs. So we have a value for x and a value for y. While functions are special kinds of relation in which no two ordered pairs have the same first element. So take note of this, that no two ordered pairs have the same first element. Okay, since function is a special kind of relation, we can actually represent this using a diagram. So this is relation, this is set of relation, and since function is a special type of relation, therefore, this is your function. So you can say that all functions are relations but not all relations are functions since there are part of relation that are not part of functions okay now since we're clear with that let's go to identifying functions and relations now let's identify functions using ordered pairs and mapping diagrams let's take a look example number one in example number one, the first thing that you're going to do is to identify your x-coordinates. And your x-coordinates are 0, 3, and 5. And while your y-coordinates are 2, negative 1, and 3. If you're going to use table of values, you can say this is x and this is your y. So observe that your x-coordinates are 0, 3, and 5, while your y-coordinates are 2, negative 1 and 3. So remember it is a function if there are no two first element have the same y element. So which means we have to make sure that all of the x's here has a unique value for y. So 0 goes to 2, 3 goes to negative 1, and 5 goes to 3. So this is one to one type of a relation and it's one to one type of relation it's a function so the first example is a function now let's have example number two so let's identify all the x's and all the y coordinates so let's use a table of values for x and y it's one two three and then there are four numbers so i think i have exe exceeded but let's identify the x coordinates we have three we have two we have six and five while our y coordinates are four negative three four and negative three so observe here we have two x's with the same y same as two and 5 here with negative 3 and negative 3. So this has two x element for one y element. So this type of relation is many to one, many to one relation. That means there are uh, more than one x element for every one y element. And remember, our restriction is that no one element in x with um, multiple numbers of y so you can have a lot of x with one y but you cannot have one x for many y's uh, this given set is a function since it's many to one it, now let's use mapping diagrams in order to identify whether the given mapping diagram is a function or just mere relation now the first thing that you're going to do is to identify uh, the values of uh, the first element and the values for the second element. Your first element are the x's and your second element are the y's. Observe that the matching or the line connected to the element in the first column to the second uh, group uh, is a relation, okay? They, so they can make an ordered pair based on the lines given. So the first one we have a goes to 1, so a1 that's the first ordered pair the second is b2 the third ordered pair is oh we still have a2 since a goes to 2 also now we also have c goes to 1 while d goes to 3 now in order for us to have a function remember that there should be 
no one element with two different y's but observe this one we have a here and a here that's the same a so which means that this one a a element of x here has two different y's so this type of relation is what we call one to many one to many relation and one to many relation will never be a function so it's not a function <laughs> sorry about that it's not a function okay now let's have number four example number four in this mapping diagram all you have to do is to identify the ordered pairs so our ordered pairs are one and one uh, two and two and then three and two okay remember our restriction you should have uh, you should not have one x with different y's in this case we check our x we have one two three and our y's is one two and two so in that means that two and three shares the same y but it's not a restriction since this type of relation is many to one so we have many x's to one y value so therefore this example is a function now let's have the last one in the last one we have the x elements a b and c so that's our uh, first element the second element is one and two and the ordered pair that we can see is a to two and b to one but for c there is no corresponding y element remember that it is a function if there is a unique value for y for every element in x but since we have no value for y for the element in x definitely this is not a function so you just have to make sure that every element in x should have a corresponding unique y now observe that in example number four we have a value for y that has no uh, pair for the first element it doesn't matter because our concern here is our first element so our first element should always have a partner so for the y element we don't care about the numbers we have here but we're more concerned of the numbers that we see in the first element 